this one. Welcome everybody to Easy T Tactical. I'm Easy T, and today we're gonna do a quick review and update of my new CZ Scorpion Evo 3 Carbine. Man, I'm so excited about this thing. I've been waiting on it for quite a while. So right now we're gonna get to the unboxing of this thing. All right, so let's get this thing unboxed. All right, so it comes with this cleaning kit already. They added it in the, in the purchase of this thing. You got your oil and your punching cleaning tools and your rods and your little cloths and stuff to clean it up. And then you got your user manual. Always got to come with your user manual. We just put that back in here. Let's get to it. Woo, here we go. That's, that's what I'm talking about. And it comes with two 20 round magazines. We got 20 rounds in each magazine. We're looking good on that. Ooh, let's get this thing out of the box. Ooh, look at that. Yes, I like it already. Got your folding stock. There we go, fully extended. Looking good, looking good. Already comes with your your, your flip up sights. So we looking good, we looking good. So we're gonna, we gonna go ahead and get this before picture of it like that, just straight out of the box. We're gonna get this thing upgraded and then get it out to the range. All right, everybody, I got this thing fully upgraded now, and it looks nice. Ooh, it looks nice. Look at this thing, boy. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to shoot this thing. I'm gonna go over some of the specs real quick, and then I'm gonna go over the upgrades I put on this thing. So let me make sure that this thing is safe. We got no rounds in the magazine. No rounds in these magazines. We have no rounds in the chamber. No rounds in the chamber. So we are completely safe, completely safe. So this thing comes with the fault suppressor. And what that means is just basically a can. It's just a fake uh, suppressor made by Salison Company. And it, it, it doesn't quiet, it's just mainly for looks. And it looks good, you know, look at that. It looks like it's real tactical. So, and then next to what we got on this thing here, you got your, your charging handle, which is can be on either side, so it's ambidextrous. And in this case, I have it on the left side. And also, we got your sling connectors here. If you wanna connect the sling up to it, you have the sling connector here for the ring connector that fits right here on the stock. You have your mag release, which I have been up, I have upgraded this, but it give you the quick, quick release of that thing. Look at this, nice. You got your um, your bolt release button right here on this side, and you also have the opportunity to slap your charging handle down, and it will go forward to chamber your rounds. That's a nice feature. You got your your safety fire safety, it's on safe. And that's pretty, I mean, that's pretty much it as far as how it's just um, fully set up. Now you got your, it came with your long grip. I didn't like that, so that's part of the upgrades we done on this thing, so real quick. We have your mag pull angle four grip. You have your mag pull hand guards. You got your mag pull flip up sight. You got your mag pull enhanced magazine release. Got your mag pull grip. And also, I had to put the, you know, I had to do it. I had to put the whole grip on here. And it's so much more comfortable. And it really helps my grip on this thing. So this thing also has your your, your basic stock, which is your folding stock that come on this thing. And with the 20 round magazine in here, it folds up real nice, make it look real, real compact. Just like that. Now I went with the mag pull P mag drum. Hold a lot of rounds in that thing. 
bam. But one thing to note that you can't fold the stock when you have your P mag in here. Now I had to go with a red dot, so I went with the Sight Mark Ultra Shot with the T3 magnifier. This thing looks good on here. I mean, this T3 magnifier will allow you to shoot up to 100 yards and still be in focus with this red dot. Man, look at that. It's actually like something out of Call of Duty. Something out of Call of Duty right here, boy. This, is, this thing looks sweet, man. It's nice. I can't wait to get this to the range. So what we're gonna do, instead of talking about it, we're gonna get this thing down to the range, shoot some rounds, and then we're gonna come back and we'll do a quick update on how things went at the range and if, if I liked it, if I didn't like it. So let's get to the range. All right, you guys, we're back down from the range. Did you see them rounds down range? Did you like them? All right, so we're gonna get right into this thing. I love it, I love it. This is probably my top gun now in, in my whole arsenal. I think this is my best gun that I like so far. So we're real, real quick, we're gonna go over some pros and some cons on, and then what we experienced at the range. All right, so some of the pros and cons on this thing. All right, so this thing, I mean, it shoots very well. It shoots real good. I, I, you know, I like it. This gun is very accurate. I love how it feels. It didn't have much recoil. It was, it was pretty quiet with the Fox suppressor, but it's a nine millimeter uh, carbine, so it's, it's not going to be that, that loud anyway. Uh, I, I mean, the only thing I couldn't really test was the, the T3 magnifier because. The range don't go up to maybe 50 yards. It didn't go up to 100 yards, so we really couldn't test this out. But other than that, I mean, it, it shot well. Uh, the only thing, I know I'm glad I went with the new grip because I know that first grip that it comes with, if you do a, a, a before and a after, I can throw that up real quick, a before and a after, how it, how it looked right out of the box and then how it looks now. It had that long grip. I replaced it with that mag pull grip and I'm so glad I did. And with this whole finger grip on top of that, oh, this thing feel real nice and it's comfortable. Well, let's get into some of the uh, cons that I really didn't like about it. And it's, it's not much. I mean, only thing is with the, with the drum mag, you can't fold the stock. And then when it's fully loaded, it's kind of heavy. You know, it's a little heavy, I think, with the sight marks on here. And, and with this drum fully loaded, it's kind of heavy. 
But other than that, it's, it's still fairly light to some other ARs out there. Now, one thing that, that, that I noticed that the trigger on this thing was, was really, really good. It wasn't, you know, a long, hard trigger. Uh, I mean, it, it, it works real well. I thought about maybe upgrading it to one of the flat style uh, triggers, but I really don't think that was necessary. I, I felt real good. You know, it felt real good. I was real comfortable with it. Um, one other negative thing I might say was not real negative, but the stock on this thing it was a little, little, when you have it out, it give you a little, you know, feel kind of, you know, wiggly or whatever. But when it's fully in, it's, it's, it's nice and solid, but I like it. Uh, it's more comfortable with me having it fully extended out. But other than that, I mean, that's not a big deal. All right. So the rounds down range that we used in this video were the Winchester nine millimeter rounds. We also use rounds by Hornady. And then also we use rounds by Federal. Fortunately, I shot up all of those, so I can't show you those. <laughs> but anyway, those are the rounds we use. They work real well, didn't have any, any jams or anything. I mean, they work good just like they, they normally do and didn't have any issues with any other magazines or the rounds that we use and they work fairly well. I mean, other than that, I don't have too many negative things to say about this thing. It's just, it's, it's just shot well. I'm very happy with it. The upgrades on this was, was it, it was basically your budget upgrades on it. And not that pricey. I mean, I got the, the gun itself at a sale when it first came in because it's been out of stock for a while and I got it for, you know, under a thousand bucks. And, you know, that's that's pretty much a deal. A lot of other places is, is looking at 13 to 1500 easily, easily. So there's nothing else I can really say about it. I just thank you guys for, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, hit the, or like, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button. And I appreciate it. Uh, I had a lot of comments. A lot of a lot of people say how uh, how enthusiastic I am about guns, and that's that's all it is. I just I love guns, and I love shooting them, and I, I just love sharing this with you guys. So I appreciate you watching. As I always say, be safe, and stay tactical.